digestive and stomach theory enteric nervous system and abdominal brain theory the allergic process can interfere with the digestive tract the digestive tract disorder itself can eventually disrupt the central nervous system and brain function the theory of digestive disorders related to the central nervous system is currently being a major concern. This theory also explains one of the mechanisms for the occurrence of behavioral disorders such as autism through intestinal hypermeability or known as leaky gut syndrome. Pathophysiologically, one of the leaky gut syndrome disorders is caused by food allergies. Some theories that explain digestive disorders related to brain disorders are 1. Dipeptidyl peptidase enzyme lack Deficiency of the enzyme dipeptidyl peptidase 4 or DPP4 in digestive disorders, it turns out to produce substances caseomorphine and gluteomorphine or a kind of morphine or false neurotransmitters which interfere with and stimulate the brain. 2. Opioid Release Theory The theory of the release of opioids or opium-like substances plays a role in this process. This has also been proven by the discovery of an expert on dogs. After certain stimulations were carried out on the dogs, it was found that the levels of opioids increased accompanied by changes in the behavior of the stars. 3. Theory of Abdominal Epilepsy the enteric nervous brain theory may also explain the occurrence of abdominal epilepsy, namely digestive disorders, especially abdominal pain, which can cause epileptic seizures or seizures in children and adults. Several scientific reports state that indigestion or recurrent abdominal pain in sufferers is associated with the incidence of epilepsy. Theory of Hormonal Links with Allergies The association of hormones with allergic events has been reported by many studies. While the hormonal changes themselves can of course lead to its own clinical manifestations. The researchers reported on allergic sufferers of decreased hormones such as cortisol, metabolic, The hormones progesterone and adrenaline seem to tend to increase when the allergic process occurs. These hormonal changes can apparently affect the function of the central nervous system or brain. Among them can cause complaints of emotional disturbances, irritability, anxiety, panic, headaches, migraines and other complaints. In allergy sufferers, there is a decrease in cortisol, estrogen, and metabolic hormones. A decrease in the hormone cortisol can cause allergy fatigue stress, namely fatigue or weakness, while a decrease in metabolic hormones can result in significant changes in body weight. Another hormone that decreases is the hormone estrogen. Allergies are also associated with an increase in the hormones adrenaline and progesterone. An increase in the hormone progesterone can cause dry skin on the neck but oily skin on the neck and hair loss. In older children who are already menstruating, an increase in the hormone progesterone can cause premenstrual syndrome disorders. Symptoms of premenstrual syndrome include headaches, migraines, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, irregular menstruation, excessive menstrual bleeding.